What's up guys? Welcome back to Beyond Tactical. Today I'm here with Carson. What's up? And uh, we're gonna start today off a little different than the range day stuff. Um, me and Carson have been hunting our freaking tails off for some mule deer and I couldn't go today because we have a bunch of work we got to get done. But we have a range day scheduled and we're going to go do some other videos and stuff. But we're waiting on Jake because Jake, funny thing about Jake is he'll tell you he'll be at your house at 9 and he shows up at 12. So uh, we got a little time to kill and we're going to go see if we can't find a buck on one of the roads by my house. Um, yesterday we saw a freaking massive buck. Oh, Carson, he was pretty big. He was a pretty decent size. It was a massive mule deer. Um, so right now, it's like I said, last day of the season. We are just going to drive the dump road and hopefully we get lucky. So, oh, yeah, he's up there. All right, guys, you can see that little white butt right up there. That's a little buck. You can see his head. But he is on private property. How do you feel about that? It's a little disappointing. A little disappointing, but we don't shoot the little bucks. That's a little guy. Darn. Found some more deer. It's just a baby. All right. Don't, don't run. You don't have horns. I'm not going to shoot you. So there's been no lack of deer today. We got two over here, and two running, or one, two, three, four, five running up the hill here. Six. No, five over here. And two right here, looking at us. Seven deer total. All does? Yep. Well, these two are. All does over here, too. We have seen so many deer today. It rained like crazy for the first time yesterday. Seen one buck this morning and uh, lots of fawns, which is really good because we had a really bad winter that killed a lot of deer and there's a lot of fawns running right now. Like over here, look, one, two, three, four, four fawns. And then over here we got- One fawn. Fawn over here, unless, no. Sure that back one's not a fawn? Kind of looks like. They were just chilling the road though. All right, so. We couldn't find a buck on public land. Jake's finally here. And now we're going to do, what are, what are we doing today? Tell the vlog. I got this sick Radiant Ramjet for my uh, 45, my Glock 45, and we're gonna do a video on that. And then we're just gonna go to our favorite spot, look for some deer and shoot. How much was the Radiant Ramjet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay uh, might watch this, be careful. I got it for half off, so like 60. They yeah, gave it to me. 20, 20, <laughs> 20 bucks, I think it was, after tax or something like that. 20 bucks for a radium ram jet. Yeah, I got a really good deal. Because they're nice. normally like 80, so. Sick. <laughs> but yeah, saw lots of deer. 18 total. One buck on private property. There might be a buck in our shooting spot. You never know. That's the hope, at least. That is the hope. Got my new toy. That's awesome. Ready? Yeah. Oh no. That didn't work out so well. Well, I prob I probably could have shot through that. It just got real close. Maybe if you try it from lower. One three three. See if I can knock this down a little bit. Ah, I'm getting sloppy now. Finger. Mm -hmm. One three one. Owie. 
Nice. Six. Owie. You hit it? Yeah. No! Stop resisting. I make sure there's no bolt holes in the tire. Pretty good, bro. You hit it. I know I did. The bounce. All right, row, low ready and then reload and shoot ready. Okay, so the biggest thing though is just, I know you're gonna, you're gonna try to go fast because it's fun, but right. don't accidentally grab the front of your muzzle because that happens. So just like what they taught us is just like freaking keep your hand here, like offhand, you're reaching and then marry here. First shot, 204. Not bad. Three, three, one. Better than last time. Oopsies. Two, two, one. I beat you, Tanner, from inside the waistband. Two, two, one from inside. Dang. That's compared to like good people. That's so slow. But with my fifteen hundred dollar Glock versus my three hundred dollar dagger. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this. Two nineteen split. Not bad. Glock, and you flung a fresh round all the way up there. That was actually, I'm stoked that happened because I had to clear a jam and it was four four seconds split. So reload and jam four seconds. Not bad. Dude, I really like the trigger on this gun. I know it's so good because it's real steel, baby. Two bullets up there. First. Two second reload. Very nice. Wow. Mm. I think it's just you. <laughs> it's Beretta's fault. So we scaled a mountain and now we're going to shoot the steel at what, 100 maybe? No. 100 yards? 150. No. No, it's less than 150. That's 100. It's about 100, I'd say. Easily 100. Yeah. But yeah, and then uh, loser has to buy burgers for everyone else. Um, sure. <laughs> we'll see about that. See where that was? Hi. <laughs> no. Two shots. Wow. Oh. High. Way high? Uh, from my perspective, it was above the. Thing. That one I didn't see. See where they're going. Last shot, I'm make it count. High. Is that bird over there? Is that a bird? No. I don't think that was. It would have moved. It's trash. <laughs> a deer. <laughs>
That's a no-hitter right there. We've all been there. Dude, that was close. That was just low and left. Yo! Yo! Let it go, let it go, let it go! <laughs> they see me go. I tried to run Dude, that thing's still going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's going towards the road. <laughs> Nah, I don't see it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I won't even read. It's too small to measure. Oh, there we go. What does CM mean? What? Centimeters? Centimeters. Sexy. Cost as much as a staccato. All said and done. Should have just got a staccato, but it's okay. Like, when we're... Hey Tanner. What? Is <laughs> <laughs> a mini gun? This jerk is like eating a leather belt. But it's so good and good for you. Elijah and Romeo and Juliet, but Juliet, the one that I've been talking with, and that success of me is getting kind of. We will do this all day. Ah! <laughs> and things are no longer going to get done. <laughs> Every time he misses it, he's got to keep taking a step forward. <laughs> Searching up Glock 45s on Weimar, and one of the few things that came up first was laxatives. 